This is Adventure America, and we're at Mustang Island State Park on the Texas Gulf Coast. Getting ready to take a drive around and show you what this park has to offer. This area we're in right now is the drivable portion of the beach. You can come out here uh, for day use, or they have 50 undesignated campsites out here that you can reserve online at the state park website. They also have porta potties out here for the guests to use. Let's take a little drive around. We'll see what they have out here. Directly in front of us, where you see the posts, are the walking area of the beach. They do have some picnic tables and stuff to sit at while you're out here. They also have a jetty out here on the beach. If you decide to drive out here on the beach, I highly recommend four-wheel drive. It does get very soft out here. There's a parking area up here we're going to see in just a few moments that is for the walking area of the beach. And there's no problem getting there with any kind of car. It is paved. There's two sides to this state park. You got the Gulf of Mexico side and you have the base side. On the base side, I highly recommend four wheel drive as well. It does not have well maintained roads over there. You can see that they put out a barrel here saying four-wheel drive only. We're pulling into the parking lot for the walking area of the beach. It does get a lot of water out here in the parking lot. There's also porta potties available here in the parking lot. They also have dumpsters out here if you need to get rid of your trash. We're coming up on the dump station for the RVs. And the water and electric camping areas. There is no sewer for the camping areas. So they do have a dump station for when you get ready to leave. They have a restroom with showers. They have 48 electric and water sites out here. They are fairly close together, but you do have covered picnic tables. It's about a third mile walk to the beach from here. Pets are allowed on leash. Over here near the entrance of the park is the office. They also have a store. They do have some covered parking over here as well. 
straight across from the park store and the park office is the dump station. We're going to take a right out of the park and head on over to the base side. It's not very far to the Bayside entrance once you take a right. You'll be able to see the yellow and brown signs off to the left here in just a moment. This area is known as Fish Path South. It is a day use only. It's a good place to come fishing if you want to fish for redfish or trout. It is unmaintained once you get near the channel, so be careful. It does get really soft out here when it's dry. Here at the state parks, you can fish without a fishing license as long as you are on land. If you get in the water, then you're going to have to have a Texas state fishing license. This is going to be it for this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. This is Adventure America. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.